hello guys welcome to the channel my name is eminence and welcome to brand by tidies in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut this one shoulder princess dart gown with drapes and we are going to be making use of a stretchy fabric so i'm just going to explain how to work your way through a stretchy fabric fabric you can also apply this method when cutting a cutting with a fabric that is not stretchable so i'm going to explain that in this video so let's just get started now as you can see the first thing i did here was to take my half length which is 17 so i after taking my half, half length i added half inches for seam allowance so here i have 17 and half inches at this point so as you can see i've marked my starting line and that's where i'm starting my measurement from now i took my my shoulder measurement which is 16 divided by 2 which is 8 inches so i'm ju i've just gone ahead to mark this out now i also took 8 inches at that other point so i can get a straight line and here yeah, i'm taking my arm o measurement which is 8 inches Mind you, we are using a stretchy, stretchy fabric. I hope you got that at the intro of this video. So now I'm just connecting this like so. And after connecting, I'm going to take my bust measurements. So for my bust measurements, I'm going to take my divide my measurements by 4. So here I have 4C divided by 4, which is 10. And I'm going to add 1 inches for that allowance because you are using a stretchy fabric. So here I have added 1 inches to make it. 11 so here we have 11 now i'm just so now i'm going to after taking my bust measurement we are going to take our waist measurement so my me waist measurement is 36 so divided by 4 is 9 inches and i'm just going to take 9 inches at this point plus 1 inches for that allowance making it 10 so now i'm going to connect the line like so and i'm going to take my arm o curve Now after doing that, I'm going to take my neckline which is 3.5 inches for the width and here I'm just trying to make my, my shoulder slanting. I went down by half an inch to make this slanting as you can see. So I will just take my neck depth which is 5 inches at this point and I'm just going to mark like this. Now after marking, I'm going to take 5 inches downward. So that is where the princess that is going to start from. So I took 5 inches downward. And using my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 8 divided by 2, which is 4 inches, I'm going to mark 4 inches like this. So as you can see me doing, I just marked 4 inches on the straight line. Now after doing that, I'm going to take my nipple point measurement. So that for me is 10 and a half. So measure yours and mark yours. After placing it at that point, just connect it like this. So you can see what we have here. Now after doing this, I'm going to go out by 1 inches at this point. So this is what you normally do for a princess when cutting a princess that right so just go go out by one inches so that by the time you cut it out and you want to join it it's going to be equal so this is all for the front so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so at the shoulder seam i forgot to add my seam allowance because i do not always add my seam shoulder seam allowance to my waistline that's that was why i added half inches to the half length so i'm just going to add half inches at this upper point so you can see what i'm doing here i just added half inches like this this just helped me to take to get a get an accurate neck measurement and an accurate arm hole measurement if that makes sense so i do this normally on a fabric that is not stretchy so this is what we have for the front and let me just zoom in so you can see this really quick now after doing this i'm going to go ahead and cut the back area and the back part and i went in by one inches this will serve as my zipper allowance and i'm just like this i'm just trying to pin it down so after pinning i'm going to go ahead and cut 
for this tutorial we are using a princess that at the back as well but if you don't want to use princess that at the back you can go ahead to use a waist that for yours so all you need to do is just follow this half length but do not follow the one inches allowance that we went out by at the arm hole so you just follow the normal arm hole measurements and you know that's all because you already added that to the front so there's no need to add any allowance at all this is all you that's all you are going to cut so this is what we have for the back and the front and i'm just going to put the back side out place the back put the back side one place and let's cut let's focus on the front so yeah i'm just trying to you know make this chalk really thick because i want to get a a replication of what I have here on the other side so just watch what I'm about to do here I'm just making the chalk that I have on the line really really thick so after doing that I'm going to flip this over like this heat it a little bit like this <laughs> I hope this is not creepy <laughs> okay so I'm just going to heat it like this and you can see that I have a fence line on the other side so now I'm going to determine where I want my slanting to be. So that is where I want my slanting to be. So you can see the way I flipped it over using the front part to, to determine it. So don't determine it from your back hole. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go down by five by six inches. But for this one, I use five and a half inches because the lady was like, she doesn't want her boss to show her me. I don't want Wala. So I just use five and a half inches. But normally what you should use is six inches. Six inches is definitely okay for you. But you can use five and a half inches. Anyone you want. So for the boss for so for this part that I'm working on, you need a boss tightening so that it's not be having gaping at the neckline. So I don't really like to follow my princess that in order for me to remove my boss tightening, I like to go in by one inch. So looking at the neckline, you can see that I went in by like around one inch. So now I'm going to take half inches on both sides of my new line. So you can see what I have and I'm just going to connect it back to my nipple points measurements. So you can see what I have here and this is what we are going to be using. So you don't really need to add your the one inch that you remove for this tightening back because the one inch that we went out by that extension at the arm O has already covered for this one inches that we removed. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. So you don't really need to add the one inches back. So this is what we have for the so I'm just going to bring in the back area to cut it out So this is the back. You can see that my pin is still intact. I wanted to cut the back separately, but I changed my mind. So that was why, that's why I have that choke on it. So I'm going to do this um, wrong side facing wrong side in order to determine where the slanting is going to be at the back area. And after doing that, you can see that I, I used the chalk to mark that line out. Now I'm going to place it right side facing right side. So you can see what I did. Pay attention to the video and check it. I did right side facing the right side and now I'm going to cut out the neckline So after cutting the neckline, I'm going to use that faint, I'm going to pin this pin down and I'm going to use that faint line on the other side to cut out my other side. 
so i'm cutting the back because the back as well because the back is under the, is still under this pattern under this front half lane that we are cutting now after cutting because we're not going to be using the um the bust tightening at the back because the back is just straight so you can just follow the princess cuts for the back so this is what i'm going to do I'm, i've gone ahead to remove my front part so i'm just going to flip this over like this after flipping it over i'm going to place the other side like this as you can see and i'm going to use it to cut So after cutting like this, what I like to do is to label this as the back. I'll label each, the four pieces as the back and I'm going to pin it together. So by the time I want to sew, it's going to be really easy. All I have to do is just pick and start sewing. I don't need to start figuring it out. You get what, you get what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to pin this to each side. Now I'm going to bring in my front part and I'm going to cut out my bust tightening. So you can see the line that I'm following. I'm not following the old line. I'm removing the bust tightening that we, we did. So this is what we have. Now for this pattern, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to join this. I'm just going to, this one to tear for this. I'm just going to go ahead and join these three pieces together and use a bias to turn the neckline. So if you are using like a cutting fabric or a fabric that is not stretchy you definitely would want to use lining so make sure to add, add lining separately before you need to turn the neckline so i'm going to do this for this front part and i'm going to do this for the back part as well so let me just quickly show you guys how to cut the skirt area i know that this tutorial is not like really calm and detailed and you know but i'm and i know you guys can understand for what i'm trying to explain so now this is the skirt part of the gown so you know you you remember we removed 17 inches for the half length so you're just going to place your remaining measurements of your the remaining measurements of your gown lengths on this area so after placing the remaining measurements you're going to add two and a half inches for seam allowance so two inches will be for your folding half inches will be for your seam allowance to join the waist to waist so now i'm this is my waist measurement and i'm going to place my waist, me waist measurement divided by four i've actually forgotten my waist measurement at this point but i think it's nine in 36 so let's say 36 divided by four is nine so i'm going to use nine inches plus one inches for that allowance and i'm going to mark so after doing that i'm going to take my hip line measurements and on that hip line i'm going to measure my hip line measure my hip measurement divided by four and i'm just going to place without adding seam allowance and i'm also going to do the same thing for the down area but i'm going to minus one inches for my hip measurements so after you mark your hip measurement divided by four you mark you remove one inches at that point so you are not adding seam allowance to this point at all you're just adding one inches that and that will be for the waistline so i've gone ahead to cut and this is my back area and i'm just going to add zipper allowance of one inches and this is me just trying to cut it out so as you can see i'm just trying to label this because the back and the front is looking similar and as you can see i also mark notch my that so what i'm going to do here is just to join the dots together join the uh, fix the dots for the back and the front and join it to my half length so make sure to notch to differentiate it from the make sure to notch that skirt area to differentiate it from your down and waistline so now this is the um this is 
what I, jo I joined and this is what it's looking like I've also gone ahead to fix my zipper to the back if you noticed so to add this drape what you just need to do is first of all normally I would for an Ankara I will use the complete 40 inches or I'll just use 30 inches but yeah I was really trying to manage my fabric so yeah I just have 24 inches I was sewing this for a triplet for triplets and I was trying to manage the fabric so yeah I just have 24 inches but what you should use is either 30 inches or 40 inches which is the full length of an Ankara if I'm correct so now after getting the length which is 24 to get your your length of the draping like the way it's going to fall like I hope you get what I'm trying to say what you need to do is measure your hip measurement divided by 2 so let's say for the hip measurements here is 46 so 46 divided by 2 is 23 so you're going to get 23 now you're going to measure from your waistline to where you want the drape to get to around your knee or wherever you want it to get to you're going to measure from your waistline to that point and you're going to um join that add that measurement to your 23 inches or to your hip measurement that you divided by two so i'm going to put it on the screen so you understand but that is what you are going to do now as you can see i already joined my my gown together i joined my sides already so i'm just going to determine how deep i want the drape to be so yeah i want it to be 11 inches and i marked 11 inches and i went ahead to open that part that area up so after opening it up like this I'm going to fix my draping. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> so like this, I'm just going to drape. So I always like to go higher by one inches at this point. So after your waist line go up by one inch so it's not just be starting from your waistline like that it's it's always nicer when you go up by up by one inches after your waistline so yeah i'm just going to drape and pin and then tuck this inside that that part that we um lose that you lose that i lose or that you're going to lose i'm going to drape like this and tuck it in so you can see that my draping is not really much because my fabric is not as plenty as i want but i'm just going to try and drape this and you know so it should be nice So as you drape make sure to pin make sure to pin as well and if you want it to be equal draping you can as you can also do that too so after draping i'm just going to pin this inside and as you're pinning inside make sure you pin it to the material now after doing this i'm going to turn it upside down so this is what we have by the time it turned, the draping would have scattered a little bit, but just try to figure it out and, you know, rearrange it. It's not going to be that simple, but you're going to do it. So, this is what we have. And I'm just trying to pin and arrange. You can also iron if you want. Now, the reason I like to do it this way, to lose, to join my, you know, my gown and lose it is because I can see the line that I want to sew on. So if you notice, if you can, if you notice, you will see the line that I lose. So this is the line that you are going to follow when sewing this draping, and it's going to be really easy for you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pin it together with my pin the three steps or layers I have here together, which is my black material back and front and the draping. Now I'm going to cut this excess so that I can see exactly what I'm pinning. I can see the back side or front side as well 
and now I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine and sew. I'm going to sew directly on that line that I loosed. So that is what I'm going to do. Now after sewing, this is what I have and I'm just going to turn this upside down like this. And as you can see, I've draped a little bit at that edge if I remember that I was filming this video. So what I'm going to do here is to just mark because this Ankara is stretchy, it's not stretchy and your, the black material is stretchy. So you want to make sure that when the person wears this, the fabric will be enough and it will just, you know, fit perfectly. So at the waistline, I've measured my waistline divided by 2. So let's say I have 40 as my waistline, I divided it by 2 and I got 20. So I measured from that edge to the other edge. I did the same thing at the hip line. So my hip line divided by 2. And I measured from that point to the other point. So that was how I got my measurements. And I'm just going to pin and drip. So I pin and drip this. This is around 6 to 7 inches on this other side. So I just pin and drip this. You can see what I have. After marking the line like that, your waistline, your hip line that you measured, you're going to pin and, you know, drip so this is what i have we are go i'm going to open the zipper and i'm just going to sew this on the side on the sides which is the line i'm going to sew this on the sides this line like this i'm going to sew it like this and that's all for this video you can see what i have so i'm not going to show you guys the sleeve it's just a puffy sleeve that i added i feel like you guys can do that i was just more focused on cutting the princess that and you know and the drape so that was what i was focused on in this video i know this video was a quick one but i hope that you understand if you have any question please do not feel to comment or ask me any question i'm going to reply as soon as possible and if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to share it to give it a big thumbs up and you know just like this video and support use it just just supports me so thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that whenever i post any video you are going to get a notification because i'm going to be posting so much good video or detailed video in this channel so do not forget to turn that notification bell on thank you so much for watching and have a